we had using the quadratic formula, use uh, the perfect square method and factorization method. So we are done with factorization method. So we go to the perfect square method. Perfect square So we can do the perfect square, square, the perfect square, this one. So we can use uh, the perfect square method. So we have a procedure for that. Uh, we have a procedure. Rearrange so that x squared and x are on the same side. So, uh, rearrange, rearrange uh, so that the values of, so that the values of x squared and x are on the same on the same side. Uh, so you rearrange first so that the value of x squared and x are on the same side. Then uh, complete, uh, make the coefficient of x squared to be one. Uh -huh. So make the coefficient, coefficient of x squared to be one. Then uh, the next step, uh, the next step, add, add, uh, complete uh, the square by adding the square of a half. So you can complete, complete the square by adding uh, the square of a half the coefficient of x. Uh -huh. So we have made the x squared, uh, coefficient of x squared, the one, and then completed the square by adding the square of a half the coefficient of x. Mm -hmm. Then at the next step, uh, so you add uh, the coefficient, the half, the square of half of the coefficient of x to both sides. Uh, so to both sides, to the both the left hand side and the right hand side. Uh, so factorize, factorize, factorize the expression on the left hand side. Of the left hand side and simplify uh, the equation on the right hand side and simplify the equation on the right hand side. Uh -huh. So the last uh, step take uh, the square root of each side. So take uh, the square root of each side. Then I uh, solve the resulting equation. Solve the resulting So we have, we solve the resulting equation, which we have to have two, two values of x. So for example, we can try 3x squared plus 8x is equals to 30. So we can try that. Huh? We use the steps. The first step is rearrange so that the values of x and x squared are on the same side. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So is it arranged? Uh -huh. So it is arranged. Uh, 3x plus 8x is equals to 30. So we have rearranged. Uh -huh. So make the coefficient of x squared to be 1. Uh -huh. So the coefficient of x squared is 3. Uh -huh. So we make it to be 1. So we divide by 3. Divide by 3 throughout the equation. So the coefficient of x squared is 1. So x squared plus 8 over 3x is equals to 10. Uh -huh. Is equals to 10. So the coefficient of x squared is 1. Uh -huh. So we go to the next step. Complete the square by adding the square of a half the coefficient of x to both sides. So a half of the coefficient of x. This is the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is 8 over a 3. So a half of 8 over 3. So times times 1 over 2. See you? Times 1 over 2. So when we say that, we, di uh, we divide a half of, so it is 8 over 2 divided by, uh, 8 over 3 divided by 2. So it is 8 over 3 times 1 over 2. Uh -huh. So it is 4 over, 4 over 3. So a half the coefficient of x is, uh, is of 8 over 3 is, sorry, uh, the, uh, half the coefficient of 8 over 3 is, uh, is 4 over 3. So 8x plus uh, 8 over 3x uh -huh, plus, plus 4 over 3 squared is equals to 10 plus a 4 over 3 square. We add, we add the square of a half, the coefficient of x to both sides. So we have added to this side and both sides. So, so the next step is factorize the expression on the left hand side. Factorize the expressions on the left hand side and uh, simplify the equation on the right hand side. So how do we factorize this? We just uh, say that x plus uh, 4 over 3 uh, squared is equals to, uh -huh. so we have factorized this, we have factorized this, x plus 4 over 3 squared uh, is equals to, is equals to, uh-huh, is equals to uh, 10 plus uh, 4 squared is 4 squared is uh, 16 over uh, 9. So this is over 1. So 9 here, 9 goes 90 plus uh, 16. So 90 plus 16 is 6, uh, 1, 1 or 6 over 9. So, 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 huh? So, so here is 1 or 6 divided by 9. So x plus 4 over, x plus 4 over 3 square is equals to 1 or 6 divided by 9. So we go to the next step. Take uh, the square root of each side. Take the square root of each side. So we square root, we find uh, the square root. So this square and the square root will cancel. So x plus 4 over 3 is equals to, when you find uh, the square root of a, uh, of, an, of a digit, you get positive or minus the value. So 1 or 9, 1 or 9 over, 1 or 9 square, the square root of 1 or 9 is, I have to find a calculator.
So the square root of uh, uh, the square root of one or nine divided by nine is uh huh three point four eight. So it is positive or minus three point four eight. So uh huh. So we have positive or minus three point four eight. Uh huh. And a four by three, four divided by three is a one point three. So x uh, plus one point three is equals to plus three point four eight, and x plus one point three is equals to minus three point four eight. We have to find the two values of x, and here we have find the square root. It will become a positive or minus. The value. So the first equation we have x is equals to a 3.48. When this crosses the other side, it will be minus 1.3. So x is equals to uh, 3.48 minus 1.3. We get 2.18. And the other one we have x is equals to minus 3.48 minus 1.3 so minus 3.48 minus 1.3 is, uh, is equal so x is equals to 4 uh, minus so x is equals to minus 4.4.78 4. so we have two values of Two values of x huh? as uh, two point uh, one eight and minus uh, two point uh, minus four point seven eight. Quelli, quelli, io, non ti ho detto. So we can try another example. Another example we have x squared minus 15x plus 3 is equals to is equals to 0. So the first uh, the first step is rearrange so that at the value of x squared and x are on the same side. So x squared minus 15x is equals to minus minus 3. Uh-huh. So the next step is make the coefficient of x squared to be 1. So the coefficient of x squared is already 1. We can go to the next step. Complete the square by adding the square of a half, the coefficient of x. Uh -huh. So we say x squared minus 15x 
plus 15 over 2x, uh, 15 over 2 squared is equals to minus 3 plus 15 over 2 squared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So we can go to next, factorize uh, the expression on the left hand side and simplify the equation on the right hand side. So here we said we do x plus uh, 7.5, 15 over 2 divided by, uh, 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. So into bracket square is equals to, is equals to uh, minus 3 plus 7.5 uh, squared. Don't forget that um, it is negative 7.3 uh, squared. So, so I put a qua minus. It is minus minus 15 divided by 2. Here it was negative 15. The value of uh, the, the coefficient of x was minus 15. So, uh -huh. so here it will be minus 15 divided by 2. Then here also uh, divide by 2, so minus 15 divided by 2, which is a minus a 7.5. Mm -hmm. So, so we continue. 7, uh, x minus 7.5 uh, squared is equals to mm -hmm, uh, is equals to minus three uh, my, uh, minus three plus fifty six point two five seven minus seven point five squared it will become positive fifty six point two uh, five so uh huh so we can uh go on so we find the square root of both sides the square root so the square will go to the square so x x minus 7.5 is equals to the square root of that uh, the square root of the square root of minus 3 plus 56.25 is 7.29 uh, uh, we can say 7.3 7.29 we can say plus or minus 7.3 so the first equation we use uh, the addition so x minus 7.5 is equals to plus uh, 7.3 so x is equals to 7.3 when this process plus 7.5. So x is equals to uh, 7.3 plus 7.5 is equals to 14.8. That's the value of x. And we have the value of x uh, minus 7.5 is equals to minus 7.5. So x is equals to minus 7.3 uh, plus 7.5. So x is equals to minus 7.3 plus 7. Point, minus 7.3 plus 7.5 is 0 0.2. So it's equals to uh, 0 0.2. So this is then another value of x. So we have uh, seen how we can solve uh, an equation using the perfect square method. How we can solve quadratic equation using the perfect square method. So we have.